Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Monday, start of a brand new week on FIFA 23, and with the brand new week brings a lot of questions. We've seen packs added to the code, but could we see the first Icon SBC or Hero Upgrade Pack SBC this week on FIFA 23. I think there's potential for that with the time of the year that we're in, and I think a lot of you guys do as well. I want to take a look at how a big SBC like that would impact the market from how it could impact SBC fodder prices rising. I know a lot of people have invested, right? It's been fodder has been very good to invest in with the low prices that it's been recently. But also, what about you know the icons or the heroes or the rest of the market? How could those cards be impacted? So I want to talk through all of that today because I want to be able to. Say Save you guys some coins with prices that could go down, but also make you some coins with prices that could go up. Speaking of prices that could go up, we're looking at a potential market rise today on Monday morning after those weekend league rewards are giving out. And we can't talk about a market rise and what's going on in this game without talking about this guy who is taking this game by storm right now as one of the most popular midfielders released in the menu release yesterday. And of course, the Alex Tellez SBC, which looks very interesting and upon further evaluation i think i might get him for the team just because his stats look pretty insane so we're going to talk about all that and ones to watch cards because there's a lot to be on the lookout for with otw's upgrading this week and with some midweek games so all that and more in today's video if you're excited for it hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new Let's talk about the potential of a massive SBC coming as early as today, right? We really don't know. It's not like there's a leak out there that's saying, hey, pretty soon we're going to get the first Foot Hero upgrade pack or a base icon SBC or that max 86 rated icon pack is also added to the code. We don't know exactly when those SBCs could be coming, but it just feels like we're in that time of the year where EA might start to drop this kind of content on the game. People have been getting coins from multiple weekend leagues, multiple weeks of promos, opening packs, all the rewards, trading, right? The market's alive. People have coins, and I think EA know that. That's why I think it's about time where they could drop one of these SBCs. So again, here's the pack code that we've seen, base icon pack and a foot heroes pack. Now, if we go back to last year, how did this get dropped last year? Last year during the Rule Breakers promo was the first time we saw any sort of upgrade SBC like that and it started with the foot hero upgrade this was released now last year rule breakers it was a little bit later this was released on november 1st right so a couple weeks later than we are at right now but we are in the middle of rule breakers promo and I, I just feel like we could see it a little bit earlier this year because so much content feels like it's been sped up already with the world cup this year everything seems to be a little bit earlier and just kind of like packed in and fast paced i really feel like we could be seeing this sbc pretty soon and it's already in the code so there's no problems there but this was released last year and it was 200,000 coins and if you think about it people this week had no problem paying what is the price of the Alaba SBC like 300,000 coins yeah people think it's a little expensive but people are doing it right and Alex Tellez the Raheem Sterling like some of those a little bit more extent expensive SBCs people have been doing them and I think that a 200,000 coin hero pack would be something that people would want to take the gamble on, especially if you take a look at all the heroes that are in packs this year. Like they added some really high value heroes that would be packable from this upgrade. Guys like Okocha, Yaya Toure, Voler, Marquisio. Now, could they make the SBC a bit more expensive instead? Uh, this year, I think that's absolutely a possibility. But I do think that like the 250, 300,000 coin range would be an accurate place to price a hero upgrade. And honestly, maybe an icon upgrade as well. I think the first icon SBC came again last year in November as well, a couple weeks after the foot hero upgrade dropped and it was 450,000 coins. So a bit more expensive for sure. Um, again, an 86 max overall icon SBC has also been added to the code. We could see that maybe first or maybe, you know, um, sooner than the regular base icon upgrade because of course an 86 overall max rating would exclude some of those guys like Zidane, Jorginho, Pele, Cruyff, all the big boys but still an SBC that I think people would go out and they try to gamble on right that's just what these SBCs bring is the fun gamble aspect to them and especially with the new foot heroes this year I personally think the Foot Hero SBC would drop first. I guess the 86 max overall icon could, but there'd be a lot of hype for that with all the new heroes like we mentioned. So how would that impact the market? Well, let's say the Foot Hero upgrade is dropped, or even if it's leaked, what you're going to see right away is you are going to see people start to panic sell heroes 
and fear that they are going to get packed. And I mean, they are going to get packed. Um, but you know, a lot of people, of course, are going to pack the lower tier ones and your more expensive and higher tier hero cards are going to be the ones that maybe get panic sold, but then they bounce back pretty soon afterwards. I remember last year when the foot hero upgrade dropped guys like Robbie Keane, guys like a Betty Pele were dropping in price, but they shot right back up a little bit later because people realized, okay, it's actually really difficult to pack some of these really big hero cards in an upgrade pack like that. So I would say if a hero pack drops, be ready with your coins to make some quick flips on a lot of these hero cards that are very popular and very meta that are also pretty rare. I think of like Rudy Volaire. He's a very rare hero card, really great striker item, about 500,000 coins. Some people will pack him. Some people will panic sell him and try to go do that pack to hopefully pack his card. But a lot of people aren't going to get him, right? And they're going to get guys like Dudek and Ocampos instead. And then they're going to have to go back out and buy that card off the market with the coins they have left over from doing the SBC. And that's where the bounce back can happen. So you look for a big drop off and then a bounce back on the hero cards or the icon cards, whatever the SBC is giving out and whatever SBC that we get. Now, also, this is the biggest question a lot of you guys might have is what happens to the SBC fodder? Now, if you look at that SBC last year, the foot hero upgrade was 83, 85 and 86 rated squads. And that came out to be around... 200k which i think is semi-similar to where the market is right now in terms of fodder i mean an 86 rated squad at 100,000 coins i think right now actually an 86 squad might be a little bit less than that because if you take a look at the alex tellez sbc that we had yesterday he has an 86 rated squad included and that is only 87k so i think without chemistry requirements this year and 86 is being not super inflated right now they're about 11 12k you know that's a little bit cheaper so they could require some 86 87 rated cards for a hero upgrade pack and of course a lot of people want to think about fodder now what's going on with fodder right now is fodder low it's low-ish. It's up a couple thousand coins a card. If you take a look at Tony Cruz, you can see that he was as low as 18, 19,000 coins on like Friday and Saturday. And he's kind of just been slowly rising up, right? A slow rise on SBC fodder tells me that people are starting to invest because they expect these cards to go up after a big type of SBC, like an icon or a hero upgrade. And I think there's absolutely potential there. Now, I know a lot of people have invested in fodder, and this is what I'll tell you. Fodder right now is not crazy high. Could 88s go to 30,000 coins with the right SBC? Absolutely, they could. But will they go to 30,000 coins like right away? Or will it take them a little bit to get there? With the amount of people that have invested right now and that are looking for the quick sell on fodder, if you buy fodder, let's say you bought 88 to like 19K, if you, right now you're making a couple thousand coins a card, right? But if you end up, in my opinion, holding for a bit longer, and you say, hey, I'm going to hold this card for an extra week. Maybe in the next week, they drop the, the second upgrade pack, right? Or they re-release that SBC and your fodder goes to another level of an increased price. And that happens a lot during the late October, early November months. November is a huge, huge month for SBC fodder as always. And again, with the stuff that they could be moving up in the schedule, it really could be that we see this SBC fodder start to climb up in price as these SBCs get released. So maybe you don't sell right away when a big hero SBC is dropped. But of course, it always comes down to if the price of the SBC is good and people want to gamble on it, they'll go out and buy the fodder to do so. So good price SBC will make fodder go up, which of course will make the SBC price go up. But people will see the price and be like, okay, that's a decent value go out and do the SBC. So my first advice would be don't be too fast to sell your fodder if you've invested and fodder right now is low enough that you can still get in on some bids and maybe make that SBC a little bit cheaper for you if it does drop. So that's kind of the thing that I would watch out for. And again, what I would really say is take note whenever they drop that hero upgrade, whenever they drop that icon upgrade for the first time, take note of how the market moves based on the price of the SBC and what SBC it is because that's kind of that will kind of set the precedence for the rest of this year and that'll give you kind of a really recent um, kind of market movement and how noticing how the market reacted to that will help you learn a lot for the many times down the road when we will get another gamble type SBC that will move the market that people will buy fodder for and panic sell other cards for 
when it gets dropped. So I don't know if that's today. Again, I just feel like it could be soon. And the Rule Breakers content has been, it's been mid, right? The players in packs, I think a lot of us are hoping for Rule Breakers Team 2 to spice it up a bit more. Promo, promo teams in Team 2 sometimes are a little bit better. We saw that a few times last year. So I think some of us are holding out our hope for that going forward. Now, Today on Monday, could we get one of those big packs? Potentially. I just think sometime during this week would be a prime time for EA to do that. Today on Monday, what we would really expect to see would be upgrade packs. And I'm genuinely excited for upgrade packs this week because even though the cards and packs are not that fantastic, right? The rule breakers. I mean, you do have a Ronaldo. You do have um, the Fakir card. You do have now the mini release with guys like that Robert Tone, who's a pretty cheap card that might be fun to try out and to, to get a few games in with. You know, it just feels like a bit of a lackluster week of content. Um, and, and I'm excited to get upgrade packs, not just to pack promo cards, but to get SBC fodder so that I can craft Telez because that Telez SBC dropped yesterday. And although the two star weak foot and three star skills and the work rates don't look very good, the stats in this card look unbelievable. And I've played against him in game and he seems to be really, really good as well. He fits my team. So I think I'm going to actually end up doing this card just because statistically you could use them in so many different areas. Some people really live by the work rates. Some people say they don't matter that much because instructions override them. Whatever camp you sit in, only 100,000 coins. Also with one of the SBCs giving you a 50K pack, the Jumbo Premium Gold Players Pack is a 50K pack with an 83 rated uh, minimum guarantee for at least one player. That's a really solid tradable pack as well. So I'm a fan of this SBC, especially with that pack that you get back. So I'm going to be crafting this 100% this week. I would I'm honestly value this over David Alaba because only 100,000 coins. Brazil links fits my team, and that's why I'm most interested in his card. And it seems like he's pretty good in game. So whatever side of the coin you fall on this Alex Tellez, one thing we can all notice right now is that EA is pushing the agenda of La Liga. A lot of La Liga content, right? Some of the cards we have in this promo, there's a bunch like Pique, Fakir, Jesus Navas, now the Robert Tone. We got multiple La Liga cards that are in this promo. We've had the Alaba, we've had the Alex Tellez, uh, we've had all the Valverde special cards, right? It's just a lot of really good La Liga content right now, and I think you can tell that La Liga prices are being affected by this when you look at the heroes, right? The heroes, like Hero Morientes is 150,000 coins. He's been rising ever since the weekend, right? 140K on Saturday, kind of rising back up out of the market dip that we had as well. Other guys like uh, Mascherano is another one. I bought Mascherano on stream yesterday for a hundred and I think it was like 49 or 150, I don't even 153K or something like that. Um, and then he ended up going all the way up to like 170. You can see right here, he was like 150 lows, spiked to about 170. He's kind of back down just a little bit now. Other guys like Diego Forlan was 300,000 coins. I clicked on Puyo, I think. Mascherano again. Okay, let me look at Forlan. Forlan went up like 30K yesterday after content. Uh, he's still up a little bit, but it's because of that La Liga hype and people needing to build. Yeah, you can see from 300 lows all the way to 330. He's back down a little bit now. La Liga hype is real. And as I'm looking at the market into today on Monday, I'm really trying to focus on some La Liga cards that I think could do bits today, right? Because people getting their rewards, going out and building some teams. I picked up Fakir. This guy for me has been a constant fluctuator every single day. Right now, he's still right around 300,000 coins. I think that if he gets too far under like 290, I think that's a really good pickup for him. You know, even guys like De Young um, and uh, let's see, some other La Liga cards that, again, just people people like to use in their team, right? I know we had the Robert Tony that's out, so maybe De Young has a little bit less demand, but Barcelona links. Um, and just a very, very solid midfielder there for him is good. Militao, Rudiger, uh, some of your higher rated attackers, maybe that people fit into teams right now. Benzema, he didn't drop that much. Like Benzema has been low the past couple of nights and then risen up into the daytime. Benzema might reach new highs today because again, 91 rated Real Madrid links, French links, and uh, La Liga, of course. So, and Real Madrid won El Clasico yesterday. So a little bit of added extra hype if that matters in FIFA, which I do believe that it does. So watch for your La Liga cards for a nice market rise in today on Monday as well. Um, and I guess back to the content segment here, just really quick. I didn't finish what I was thinking for content today. Um, I do think we'll get upgrade packs today of some sort, some variation. And then the other thing that's on like the radar, I guess you could say for content would be icon 
player SBCs. Trezeguet mid and Essien baby are added to come via SBC as well. So now we have four icons. Vidic, Casillas, Trezeguet mid and Essien baby have all been added to the, I guess you could say, leaks uh, list of icon SBCs that could be dropped pretty soon. Um, obviously, we wait until we probably see the icon tab up here at the top of SBCs until we know that, that is going to get dropped but we have not seen that yet. Now, also with the Alex Tellez SBC, I'm bouncing between cards and, and like SBCs right now at the moment. A lot of your left backs are down. Ferlin Mendy, um, again, that's not the right Mendy. Ferlin Mendy went from like 95,000 coins or a little bit above 90K. I believe he's like 85,000 coins right now. And some of you guys are asking like, Nate, is this guy going to bounce back? I'd be careful with this card today. I think it could bounce back a little bit. Um, but again, so many people are going out and doing this Teles card. And I also think it's one of those where people might be crafting it this week. So I'd be careful with that card. Alec, um, Teo Hernandez is in a weird spot too. He's French, one of the most meta left backs in this game, but he's not La Liga. So, you know, you've got a Tamori card that is in the team of the week. People might be packing from their reds. People might be getting from their team of the week pack and wanting to try. Uh, of course, a French left back as well. A card like this, or maybe a Cancelo that's dropped off, like an Inform Cancelo maybe that's dropped off a little bit extra because of the Tellez SBC. I like that a bit more than I like buying the Ferlin Mendy just because these guys are in different leagues and uh, they still maintain their very popular links and their, their very popular status as some of the best left backs in their specific league. So that's just something I watch out for. But left backs across the board are, are down. Uh, Cap de Villa is down. He was like 100,000 coins and I believe now he's low 90s. Yeah, 92, 91,000 coins for this card, down like 10,000 coins. So some of those could rise back up a little bit, but I feel like it would be suppressed because I think that Tellez does have a lot of hype. Now, one of the other things I want to talk about in this video is ones to watch cards because I have picked up a couple of ones to watch cards. I actually just sold one because I wanted to buy some other stuff for a market rise today. But Gabriel Jesus, and this is something I want to talk about because there's a lot of games coming up this week. The Premier League and La Liga both have midweek games upcoming this week, which of course, since those are league games, they count for the upgrades. And some of the guys that played over the weekend now have an additional win getting closer to their wins to watch upgrade. Now, first of all, for starters, Gabriel Jesus, um, if we take a look at his card, if I could control F for Jesus, there we go. So Jesus, three wins, right? Wins to watch upgrade achieved. I believe that Jesus will get upgraded on Wednesday. That's when they did the wins to watch upgrades last year. According to EA's website, we don't have any official communication on that, but I believe that Sterling, Jesus, and Dest are the only three cards that have hit their three win threshold. All three of those should be upgraded on Wednesday. That's when EA have done it in the past. I expect them to do that this year as well. But the cards I really want you to watch out for are like at the very top, we looked at uh, Lewandowski or like Renato Sanchez, right? Renato Sanchez and PSG won 1 0 yesterday. Renato's on two wins. His price kind of reflects that. As you can see, if we go and take a look at the ones to watches, a lot of these OTWs have bounced up or maybe risen in price a little bit, right? Uh, because they've gotten towards that three win threshold. Rudiger, 492. He's on two wins now instead of one. Um, Renato Sanchez, 358. These cards, as the market is rising, these live cards are starting to rise as well as they get wins. Lewandowski actually was a really good pickup yesterday. I bought a Lewandowski at 297,000 coins. Um, after Barcelona lost, he went down in value as people were selling. But in just three days, they play Villarreal midweek in a league game that if they win, and you would expect them to, Lewandowski would get that upgrade. So I'm going to buy, and that's why I bought a Lewandowski at 300K, because I just believe that this guy is already starting to rise again. After the drop-off, he's so, he's so close to getting another upgrade or to getting that third win. I wanted to pick him up because I think he will rise back into the hype. Now, the other side of the coin is Anthony and Manchester United because Anthony is on, I believe, zero wins. Man, you have not won a game yet uh, since that card has been released. And so it's not looking good for him. So his price dropped off and it hasn't really bounced back as much. Okay, sorry, they're on one win. They beat Everton. But now they've got Tottenham up next. They've got Chelsea, West Ham, 
So by the end of this eight game period, they should be able to get Anthony an upgrade by winning two more games, but it's not looking that hot. And that's why his price has continued to go down. So just watch out for OTW cards. We're getting some upgrades this Wednesday, but watch out for the league games only, Premier League and La Liga. Uh, I actually think Dybala plays today on Monday. That's the only like outlier, um, but uh, Premier League and La Liga are the only ones that have midweek games this week. There's some cup games for like Serie A and for the Bundesliga or German teams and Italian teams. Those games do not count for the upgrades. But again, I bought the Jesus yesterday at 265. And like I said, I just I did just sell him. I think this Jesus card is probably going to continue to rise into the week this week as he gets closer and closer to the upgrade. It'll be a plus two upgrade for him because the 83s go to 85s when they get an informed boost. So just be careful with this. If there's any like panic or market crash type stuff that happens this week before Wednesday, if they drop a big SBC like a hero or an icon upgrade, I would look at this part of the market as well because there's some upgrades pending or coming soon for a guy like Gabriel Jesus. Now, last thing is, I just want to scroll through some of the Rule Breakers cards and just kind of do a quick little rundown of prices on the market as we head into Monday today. Rule Breakers are a bit low. Fakir, 293. Zaha's under 200. Jesus Navas, I think, with all the La Liga hype and PK are both going to rise up a little bit into the week. Jekko is the lowest that he's been, 159. Um... Of course, the Robert Tone at 60, the Leon Bailey at 122. I think that's pretty cheap. Could rise a bit today. The team of the week is just kind of chilling. I think these cards are going to rise up again a little bit today. Pe Pedri at 19K is really good. Road to the knockouts continue to fluctuate, but they're trending up, right? Konate at 202. I could have swore he was like 220 earlier. Maybe I was incorrect there. He went from like 180, 190, and he's been, yeah, he was 210, it looks like, just a little bit ago. So these cards continue to rise in price, but for decent reason. I sold all the Wambasakas I had at like 97, 94, 97K. I was very happy with that movement there. Um, and these cards are probably going to rise up again even more today with the rewards market rise. I would like to see that. And then, of course, heroes continue to rise. Other out of packs, team elite cards continue to rise. Kevin De Bruyne is 623,000 coins. That's crazy. That is so expensive for that card right there. So, that's kind of just how the market is reacting and, and how the market is moving at the moment is that things just continue to keep going up little by little in price. And it's making it like we talked about in yesterday's video. I'm glad that I spoke on that. It's making it a really, really good time to fluctuation trade with a lot of these cards. I bought Leon Bailey at 140K yesterday, sold him at 152, 153. Like a really, really quick small flip there. Um, just that Mascherano that I mentioned, bought at like 154, sold at 169. Small flips, but profitable flips and enough to make some coins here or there. As you can see, I sold the Jesus. Uh, I sold some Robert Tones that was just fluctuation trading with. And then there's the Wamba Saka. So that's kind of what I've been doing. And I do have some other cards picked up, ready to go for a potential rise into the day on Monday. So we'll see if EA Sports brings the hype with a massive SBC. But I want to talk about all that today so that we get it down, get ready for when they go ahead and do that. Hopefully it's pretty soon. If you enjoyed today's video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate for the count and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.